Hey guys, how's it going? So this is my third time making this video. Um, the, the first three times... Well, let me see here. The first time I was testing it out to see if Windows Movie Maker would work for this camera. And it obviously didn't because it was an MOV file and Windows Movie Maker doesn't support MOVs. So, uh... I tried it again and I didn't know if it was working and that was four minutes long. And so I ended up cutting it off to see if it worked, and it did. The third time I tried doing this, the memory card was full. It is a uh, 512 MB digital media card, this thing right here. And um, it kind of didn't have enough memory, so it cut off on me. Alright, so then I wanted to try something. I didn't know if it would work. You know those little uh, SD adapters with the small chip that goes inside the other chip? Well, yeah, anyway, mainly it's used for a phone, like this one right here. It's got the little slot, and yeah, anyway, I wanted to try it and see if it would work, and so far it's working, so let's see how good, or how long, or whatever you want to call it, see how well this does, shall we? Alright, so, um, I don't necessarily have a video for today, or like an idea, so I'm just going to wing it, and since I can't edit, there's not going to be any cuts or any edits in general, so, uh, I guess here goes the video. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta do laundry. Well, I did laundry today, so I gotta hang it up and put it away and all that jazz. So, I guess here it goes. Just let me get you guys situated so you don't fall or whatever. Just give me a few seconds, please, and thank you. Sorry if anything's in the way and you can't see the video. I can't even see what I'm doing myself. Uh, uh, let's see if that works. Hi. Look, that's my hand. You can see it. Okay, sorry for that odd, crazy, awkward moment. Okay, so... Where should I start off? Okay, for starters. Today was my second day of working with my grandpa to build the, um, the, uh, what you call it. Is this inside out or no? Uh, I can't tell. I hate when fucking t-shirts fade the tags on them. Alright, but yeah, anyway, today was the second day working with my grandpa and we started putting 2 by 4s across the rafters. That way we could fix the roof. So anyway, we did that today, and I woke up around 11-ish, 11.30 this morning, and I worked for a few hours, and he said he didn't need me anymore, so I kind of just relaxed and tried to watch YouTube videos. And, well, my computer was running slow, so that didn't work out too well. But anyway, today, um, my grandma, so, alright, here's another story before I get to that point. Uh, my, my neighbor's dog had puppies, right? Well, my grandma wanted one, and it's gonna cost $50 to get it. It's like a boxer mix, but it's not full-blooded, I think, I don't know. So, yeah, uh, they have to hold it to until she gets $50 next month, around the 3rd. And you know, it was only five, four or five weeks old at the time when she first decided to get it. Well, today, the neighbor happens to say that she lost the puppy. Two of them sort of just disappeared. No idea where they went, right? So my grandma comes to me, since I wasn't working or anything, and she asked me if I would go talk to the neighbor and see if they found the puppy. And being the kind of guy that I am, which is an awkward, non-people person kind of guy, I said I didn't want to do it alone. Uh, it sounds childish, you know, I'm 20 years old and I don't like talking to people, but anyway. She told me to ask my sister to go with me. And I said okay, and I... What the fuck happened to my shirt? Uh, God damn it. Anyway, uh, so I asked my sister and she said okay. Well, what I didn't, you know, I... I had a feeling something was going to go wrong, or I was going to feel awkward and out of place. But, you know, I usually, I just bit my tongue and walked down the road, smoking a cigarette, 
and my sister was talking to me about what was it she was talking to me about oh yeah she was talking to me about a car that her and her boyfriend or fiance or whatever you want to call him was getting and as we got down there you know I forgot the fact that she had a watermelon with her so I thought she was going to be a little bit respectful and you know toss it aside I was wrong so my sister as she was talking to the neighbor about the dog uh, was eating the watermelon you know she didn't have any decency or respect to close her mouth as she chewed and that's just one thing that bugs me you know I mean I normally don't have respect for people but you know if I'm trying to be nice I'll have respect and you know I'll be a little decent and not do something that would be disrespectful but my sister on the other hand she's the kind of person that would she's the kind of person that would uh <coughs> fuck oh sorry about that anyway my sister's the kind of person that has no self-respect has no uh has no what's the word her brain doesn't process things like, you know, some people do. Yeah, I guess we'll just go there. So anyway, she was eating the watermelon, ch chewing it and chomping it and all that other, you know, making loud noises as she, you know, opened and closed her mouth eating the watermelon. And not just that, but um, as our neighbor was talking to us about the dog, you know, uh, she also lost one of her puppies because there's two puppies that disappeared. I have no idea where they went. So she was talking to us and, uh, you know, she kind of, like our neighbor got all sad about it. And uh, my sister goes, well, maybe you shouldn't have got so attached to it so quickly. She goes, you ought to know better than that. And the look on my neighbor's face was shock. And uh, at the same time, it looked like she was uncomfortable. But anyway, you know, my sister was rude beyond belief. And the whole time, I was just, you know, standing there with my hands in my pocket, you know, looking away or, you know, looking this way. And I, I wouldn't really say anything just because, you know, I'm not going to be categorized in the same category my sister is, you know. If I was spoken to, of course, you know, I'd say something back. And then, the whole time, you know, it, it started off talking about the dogs, and then, you know, they started talking about work because they worked together at Bojangles. And they got on that topic, and as my neighbor tried to get away, you know, she'd say, like, well, I gotta go look for the puppies. And, you know, the first couple of times she said that, you know, I didn't say anything. And, you know, I kind of figured she was waiting for someone to say, do you need any help? So, uh, the third or fourth time she asked, I go, well, if you need any help, you know, looking for the puppies, let us know. Because we live in a wooded area. Well, there's my neighbor's house, a, a, a war down house, then a trailer, then my grandparents' place, and then another trailer and another fucked up trailer. But, you know, we're in a decent area, it's mainly woods, so there's no telling what could have happened to the dogs, alright? Well, uh, my sister, she's got poison oak, and, you know, of course, woods equals poison oak, and my sister's just, like, you know, she didn't say anything, and, uh, my neighbor, you know, didn't really reply back, but, uh, I looked at my sister and I was like, you know, we should go. So, uh, they talked for a little bit, and I kept, you know, nudging her, saying, come on, I gotta go, it's getting late. Finally, they stopped talking, and we, we walked back up the road. Well, you know, the whole reason we went down there was for the dogs, right? 
so as as we got back up here, I told my grandma uh, she was disrespectful. She didn't really, you know, offer to help look for the dog. She didn't really have any of this or that and all that other nonsense. And uh, my grandma told me to shut up and go to my so I did. But, uh, I don't know. It, it just bugs the hell, hell out of me when someone doesn't have enough respect, you know, around other people to be nice or, or to offer a hand while it's being nice. Or just anything like that, you know? I do it on rare occasions because I hardly ever leave the house. I'm usually... <coughs> hmm. I'm usually in my bedroom, online, or listening to music like I'm doing now. And, you know, when I do leave, I try to dress, you know, what's the word? I try to dress respectable certain places, you know? I don't wear raggedy clothes. I don't, you know chew with my mouth open and all that other stuff. But that's my sister, so... You know, I can't really say I gotta love her because she's family. Because in all truth, I have no respect for my sister whatsoever. And... I, I don't know. <coughs> A lot of people, you know, may say, oh, well, she's just family, you know, you should... You should, you know, respect her, you should love her, you know, because she's family. Because, you know, something might happen and you never could say you're sorry or apologize or whatever. That's, you know, completely out of my... out of my reach or my range or self-help range or whatever you want to fucking call it. I don't fucking know. Yes, it's my underwear, so what? Sorry, I'm just a little agitated, I guess. I don't know, guys. Family's family, and there's not really much you could do. I claim I was adopted because I'm the black sheep of the family, and. Okay, me, I. The type of music that I listen to. Basically, I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but I don't like country, and I'm not real, you know, big into rap or anything like that. Especially one of my folders this goes up on the hand here. Do I have it anymore? Uh oh. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't really listen to rap, and definitely not a country fan. So my family kind of. Uh, disowns me because I'm not country and I mean like they're real you know I don't mean to offend anyone but they're rednecks from hell and to make it even worse my sister is 17 years old and my family lets her do whatever she wants ever since she was little you know my sister is my family's precious Precious, yeah, precious little angel. My sister is the angel of the family. There we go. And she could do no wrong. Well, anyway, she's 17 as of right now. And she is living with her 25, 26 year old boyfriend. Ah, wait a second. He's not only her boyfriend, he is supposedly her fiance. Not only that, but he is also her stepbrother. I don't know if you would really call that incest because it's not blood, but to me, it's still wrong and it's still sort of incest just because it's got the word brother in it. And everyone in my family is okay with it, but I'm not. You know, just like I was saying, the whole incest thing. And, you know, it, it just pisses me off. Because 
Well, the fact that they're not the 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 the, 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 the fact that they're together isn't what pisses me off. The thing that pisses me off is my sister's seventeen and gets to do whatever she wants. Me, I'm twenty years old and I'm stuck at home. I can't have any friends over, I can't go to anybody's house. Uh, I have to keep my music down at a whisper even though I'm not exactly living inside the house, I'm in the storage unit. It's still under my grandparents' window, so... You know, it's still their rules and it's still their roof, I guess you could say. And... Well, why are these coming up? They won't be well. I'm stupid. Yeah, anyway. My sister, now, uh, she gets to go over anybody's house, friend, boyfriend, you know, whatever, spend the night, you know, and they get to come over and spend the night. And, uh, my family lets it happen. You know, my sister drops out of high school. They're okay with it. So, uh, then my sister goes to the community college to try and get her high school diploma that way. Well, she's dropped out of that at least six different times, and yet my family is still okay with it. Here I am, I dropped out at 16 because my left side was constantly hurting and it, I, was, I was sick the entire summer before going back to school. So, uh, you know, I dropped out of high school my second 10th grade year, the reason it was my second was because I missed a lot of days my first 10th grade year and I didn't exactly get a chance to make all of them up and since I missed a lot of days I offered to do extra you know homework and stuff like that well the teacher teachers still you know like they graded the papers with this because apparently it's not what they wanted but, you know, I worked my ass off there for the longest time. And the fact that they, uh, it was two weeks left of school. And they said that I was going to fail no matter what I did. So I said, fuck it. And I started sleeping during class. You know, they kicked me out of classrooms. They called me into the office. And all of a sudden, I was like the bad child in school. All because I refused to do my work. Because they told me I was going to fail no matter what. Alright, so summer I was sick. And then school started again. I missed a month of school. I only went three days. I couldn't really get out of bed without puking or, you know, feeling dizzy. And I couldn't really eat anything. And So I decided to drop out. And I told my family that's what I was going to do. They got all you know, huffy and puffy and riled up and said if you drop out, something's gonna happen. I don't remember what they said was gonna happen, but yeah, anyway, I dropped out and it was hell on earth, literally. They called me a failure, they said I was never gonna amount to anything in my life, they said that I'm worthless, and everything else you could think of in the book, they probably said, and I just don't remember. So, uh, yeah. Two years later, I turned 18. I got two jobs. One, I worked at a restaurant called Gino's. And two was a gas station called Wilco, or Hess. Whatever they call it nowadays. And, uh, I ended up being sick two months later. And I... Missed four days of work, working at Geno's, and I called in to tell them that I was bringing in my doctor's note. Well, they go, oh, well, we were told that if you call, we were to fire you, so they fired me. Wilco, or well, the gas station, let's just say, the gas station job didn't last but three weeks because I heard, you know, I don't know if it was true because... I didn't want to screw up, you know, at work, so I tried to, you know, do what was needed to be done, and, you know, I ID'd everybody that needed to be ID'd, and so on and so forth. Well, hearsay kind of way, I heard that 
they were going to fire me because I sold underage, and I was only working three weeks, and I don't remember selling to any underage students or people or whoever, you know, is in the category of underage. So I said, fuck it. I quit because I didn't have the kind of money to, you know, go to court or whatever needed to be done because I missed days as well for being sick, you know, obviously. And, you know, like I said, I quit. Didn't have the money to do anything that needed to be done. And, you know, I was jobless. Well, my family went all to hell about that because they weren't getting money because I had to pay them every paycheck even though it was only like not even a fucking 15 minute drive to work to town and back, you know? It maybe ended up to be like fucking 10 minutes worth including, you know, going there and then coming to pick me up and back. So that, I guess, you know, 20 minutes by their time, but 10 by mine. And, uh, yeah. Um, I had to pay them at least... Okay, I had to fill their fucking tank up. Just for a fucking 10, 20 minute drive, whatever you want to consider it. And that sort of pissed me off because it was my money, I was working hard for it, and they expected to get all of it. Well, they didn't like the fact that I quit. So, you know, they did their whole little routine. You're worthless. You'll never amount to anything. blah 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 Well, here I am, you know, two years later. I actually had some job opportunities. Like last year. Uh, the whole reason I went to Pennsylvania. I was... I went there, other than the fact that I had family problems, the job opportunity, like I mentioned in my, one of my videos before this, I was working for a company called Prepaid Legal Services. I can't really get into too much detail about that right now because, you know, I just don't want to, and uh, because I get sidetracked. So uh, anyway, I, the, I told my family, you know, oh, there's this big job opportunity up in Pennsylvania, you know, and I've been listening to their phone conversations, I've been speaking with some of the members of prepaid and it sounds like a really amazing job opportunity. And they were like, no. You know, they didn't support it, they didn't want anything to do with it, they didn't want me to have anything to do with it. Because it's not what they wanted me to do. And what they wanted me to do is work at a fast food joint flipping burgers for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that says, I have to eat there, I don't want to work there. But that's just me, you know I mean? A lot of you people might say differently. But, since they uh, said, no, you know, we got into the big argument, and I ended up having my friend come get me anyway. And I was only there for a week, and I come back because of the whole house incident. And my family... They had all kinds of laughs and all that stuff because I'm a failure to them and you know. Well anyway, I did that for a while and I like that job. So I come back and you know the whole car accident thing screwed me over heavy lifting and things because honestly I can't get my arm past this and it doesn't straighten out all the way but if I lift it like with force like this right here it hurts like hell because right here is where the ball shattered and not all the pieces are together there's another piece under some muscle and I didn't go to physical therapy so I'm still dealing with that and it was that happened in September and it is now what May almost an entire year and my arm's still fucked up so I need I want some money you know because I'm tired of not having any and of course I need to supply my smoking habit so I Looked around my town, Jefferson, and then the town beside us, West Jefferson. There were no jobs hiring whatsoever, even the fucking fast food joints. You know, I was that desperate. So, since they weren't hiring, I tried towns maybe 30, 45 minutes away from here. And there were all kinds of stuff opening up, so I got some applications. For example, there's a, a clothing store called Rue 21. There's a place about... 30 minutes from here, and then there's another, the same store, but it's in the mall, 
about, I want to say 45 minutes, but I'm not good at math and all that stuff, you know, the drive there, the drive back, the distance and all that. So that's just an estimate of how long it is. So they were, you know, I found out they were both hiring and I got applications and my grandparents, my entire family were like, no, we're not going to do it. Reason being is because they didn't want to waste their gas on taking me back and forth to work. But here's, you know, back to the original story about the whole thing about me and my sister. So, uh, my sister now, um, where she can do no wrong. She finds a job flipping burgers. And my sister and her boyfriend, they live a good way away from us. You know, like almost an hour if there's traffic. And uh, so my family, anyway, they will drive to her house and back. You know, taking her back and forth to work. Not having to give them a penny in gas. And that just kind of pisses me off. You know, I mean, seriously. Why am I the one who's got to pay and yet she doesn't? It's not some whole jealousy, sibling rivalry kind of bullshit, so I don't even want to hear that. It's just the fact that she's a little angel and she's doing no wrong. It's always been like that. And no, I'm not fucking jealous. There's no reason to be jealous. I mean... Oh, talking about jobs. Uh, YouTube. I told my family that I was a partner on this, you know, this website. If I make videos, I get paid for it, right? My family didn't approve of that any. They're like, oh, you know, it's a scam, or, oh, you know, what kind of fucking job is that? Well, uh, needless to say, here I am, making videos, posting it online. God damn it, this fucking stereo wants to skip on me. Alright, anyway, uh, trying to remember here what I'm talking about. Jobs online. Okay, so they don't want me doing it because it's not what they want me to do. So they don't support it whatsoever. And uh, talking about trying to go back to school, um, I tried a year after I dropped out. But the principal at the high school goes, are you sure you really want to do that? Because you'll be 20 or 21 by the time you actually graduate. And all of your friends would have already been long gone. And, you know, you'll be with people younger than you. I was like, I don't care. I just want to be able to go back to school. That way I can finish it and get my GED or my high school diploma and get away. You know, and that way I can fix my life and do the things that I wanted to do. Well, he said no. He goes, oh, well, you should try going to the community college. Well... I go to the community college. I got my transcripts and all from the high school just to do it, right? Well, uh... My mom was the one who took me back and forth, you know, to the community college and all to do what I needed to get done. So I got my transcripts and all, and the day that I went up there that I was supposed to go up there, he ended up, the guy that I needed to talk to ended up not being there. So my mom drops me back off here at my grandparents, and she goes home with the transcripts in her car. She loses them, supposedly, so I couldn't go back that, right, you know, right then and there. So I waited, you know, 18, I tried it again. Well, from being 18 to now, I can't get no answer. And when I do get an answer, the person that I need to speak with is not there. So I don't know what to do. I've tried, and I can't seem to get up there. So I don't know if I'm meant to go to school or not. But what I want to do... Ow, fuck. Splinter. Ow. Ow. Motherfucker. Ow. That hurts. I'll fix it later. Alright, so anyway. What I want to do, school-wise... Damn, that's What I want to do, school-wise, is... Something to do with photography, or, you know, film work, or music. You know? And... My grandparents doesn't support that either, because it's not what they want me to do. See, growing up, they had this, this big idea of what I could do for a living, you know, to help support them and their life and, you know, their career choices. See, uh, my grandpa owned his own business from home, you know, he worked from home. He was a welder, 
and he had a company called James Rollins Welding. Well, the fact that I didn't want to be like that, I didn't want to have to, you know, weld on things here and there just to make a living. Yeah, sure, he made some good money when he worked with, you know, the big-named companies, you know, like sawmills or some rich folks, you know? Mm. It's a straw, so what? But anyway, I told them no, I didn't want to do that. They got furious, and, you know, one thing led to another. Here, here I am now, you know, 20 years old, 2010, making videos online every chance that I get. In hope, just in hope, that one day eventually things will start going my way. I have tried making an effort, even though it doesn't necessarily seem like it, but I have. So it's just to get by now as it is. I work with my grandparents outside, just enough to make, you know, $4.30 for a fucking pack of cigarettes. And, uh, so, and that's how I, you know, supplying my smoking habit. And honestly, I'm waiting on my settlement check from my uh, car accident back last year. I don't know if that's ever going to happen anytime soon. But, uh, you know, eventually if I get that money, I'm going to try to get my own place and get away from here. But until then, I'm stuck living in hell. And I don't like it none, but I can't really say yay, nay, don't do it, do it. And, I don't know, I just don't want to, I don't want to end up being the kind of guy that lives in, you know, their mom's basement, you know, always on the computer, or playing video games, some kind of shit like that. Even though I don't live with my mom, I live with my grandparents, and I mean, that's, that's even worse, because grandparents, mom, yeah. So... This summer, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do summer classes at the community college, and, uh, hopefully that works out. Oh, yeah. Uh, cars, you know, vehicles. Um, I'm 20 years old. I've got a permit. I got it last year, and it runs out September of this year. Well, last year, my grandparents and I went in half, you know, to buy a car. It was $1,200. I was supposed to pay six, and they were supposed to pay six. So they ended up paying the whole twelve because once I got me a car, I was you know going to get a job and uh, pay them back. Well, I only ended up paying them back twenty five dollars. That happened actually. That was in two thousand and eight. Yeah, it wasn't last year. It was two thousand and eight when that happened. And um, two thousand and nine, last year, I sold the car. It was a piece of junk. I sold it for four hundred dollars cheaper than what I got it, and they got pissed off at me for that. They said, "Oh, well, since you sold the car, you still owe us, you know, five hundred seventy-five dollars." They were going to take it out of the eight hundred dollars. Well, last year some things happened, and I was stupid. I sold the car for a stupid ass reason, and I didn't realize that mistake until September of last year. Well, uh. You know, I'm much smarter now. Well, I've learned from my mistakes, I should say. So I'm not going to end up doing that stupid shit again. Alright, well, anyway. Here I am. I'm trying to you know, fix my life, get a job, get a car, you know, get my own place. Well, it's not working out. But anyway, my sister has my very first car. It's a 1971 Super Beetle. When I got it back when I was 14... My grandpa, you know, got it for me off a, a customer that he had to do a welding job for. And it sat in the driveway, and all I would hear is, Oh, don't worry, we're going to fix it up for you today. We're going to fix it up. You know, those days turned into weeks. Those weeks turned into months. Those months ended up turning into two, three years. And I got fed up with it. Because I, I didn't know, I don't know anything about cars. I couldn't do it. And I, I couldn't ask, you know, so, hey, would you come help me do this? Because I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, I ended up saying, F I threw the key at him and said, fuck it, you just keep the car. Well, the room that I'm in now, surprisingly enough, it's the same fucking room that that Super Beetle was stored in from the time I was 15 to earlier this year, or maybe it was late last year when my sister got the car. 
but this room, it held the Super Beetle. And, you know, there's the other side of, or like, the outdoors, you know. My porch, you might as well say, was the way they got it out and down the hill and into the driveway and then out of the driveway. But, uh, my sister owns that car, and today, my sister and her boyfriend pays $400 for a cheap-ass Subaru Legacy, I think it is. And not, on top of that, you know, they got those two cars, they've got a truck, and uh, they've got two trucks, actually, I think it is. And they've got a uh, Thunderbird or Firebird, whichever one's the oldest. But yeah, anyway, my grandparents helped out with two of those cars. And they won't even help me get a second one. Yeah, I know, I screwed them over. They screwed me over my whole life. Big deal. But, you know, that's just another thing about family that pisses me off, you know? Oh, and, uh, back when I was 12 or 13, I got my first acoustic guitar. It was a first act, so, you know, it came from Walmart, so it wasn't necessarily, you know, a big deal to be happy about, but I was stoked, you know, because I just had found out about music. I, the first band that I actually fell in love with that changed my life was Nirvana. And, uh... So, it was a right-handed guitar, but I switched the strings over to make it left, because I play left-handed. And, um, I asked to get lessons from a, uh, guitar shop about, you know, a good five minutes, maybe ten minutes away, drive-wise. What the fuck is this? That's not mine, is it? But yeah, anyway. It was gonna be like twelve dollars an hour each time I went back. My grandparents said no. Well, uh, so, you know, I have tried to learn several times from friends, but none of them had patience. And I can't read notes, so I can't go online and, you know, look for tabs or, you know, learn how to do things like that. So anyway, now I don't have a guitar. I had four. I had two electrics and two acoustics. No, wait. Three electric and one acoustic, but... My dumbass, I ended up pawn pawning two of them for money back in 08, or was it 07? And I lost that, I lost my digital camera, I lost my PlayStation 2, all of my games and all of my movies. And I tried to get them out, but I didn't have a job, nobody would help me. I ended up losing every single one of them. So, I, I don't, like, I'm gonna call the pawn shop tomorrow, maybe? And just see if anyone has bought the stuff. I know it's a long shot, but I just want to see if anyone has. If not, then I'm going to sell my soul to Satan to get everything back. Just to piss my family off. Well, uh, you know, that's not really going to happen, but, you know, it's wishful thinking, right? And, um... Concerts. Let's talk about concerts. 2007, around, I think it was in August, but it was OzFest in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is two and a half hours, maybe three hours drive. It was, you know, back when OzFest was free. Well, when I first heard it was going to be free and you can get free tickets, you know, out of like Monster Energy drink boxes, you know, all you had to do was find the code, go online, print them out. Well, um, for months now, it was two or three months that I tried, you know, I begged and pleaded and, you know, all that good <sighs> sissy, well, not sissy stuff, but all that, you know, pretty much what everyone does when they want to do something that their family will allow them to do. Well, my grandma said no, 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 no. Well, the, the night before the concert now, my grandma says, okay, you can go. So, uh, I went with a big group of friends. And, uh, I had a hundred dollars, that's what they gave me. They said, only use it for food and gas. So, uh, I used it for food. Well, actually, I didn't even eat. Then, well, I, I bought some monsters at the concert, but anyway. Um, I bought me a t-shirt and a CD. And the whole thing about that, the whole concert, I got to see one of my favorite bands, it's called In This Moment, and uh, I wanted to see Ozzy really, really bad. 
Well, as, as soon as Ozzy started playing, the group of friends that I was with said they wanted to leave because they didn't want to get stuck in traffic. And that just fucking broke my heart and all that. Because, I mean, hell, Ozzy is pretty much on his last limbs, you know? Or his last legs. He's not going to be around much longer. Okay, I don't want to jinx it. Ozzy's going to live forever. But, uh, you know, so that happened. And, um... And, uh... Hmm, where was it? Oh, yeah. Alright, so... That night, you know, the whole concert thing... We drove to two of my friend, well, my friend's house. He dropped us off there, and then the group of friends that I went with uh, drove me home, dropped me off. So, get this. You know how in the movies parents are waiting up for their kids, you know, when they come home late, they flip the little light switch or the lamps on? Well, uh, my grandma, like as soon as I stepped foot through the door, my grandma turns the light on and shows it's about fucking time to get home and I had a shirt CD in my hand and her eyes like they went all bloodshot fiery red the look in her face is I'm gonna murder her eyes you kinda look but anyway uh she goes I told you to only you know spend it on food and gas I was like I did and I also bought me, you know, a t-shirt and a CD. It wasn't even that fucking much. And all the rest of the money that I had left, I gave back to my grandparents because they said if I didn't spend it all, I'd give them back to them. So anyway, I did that. It pissed my family off. Oh, and I also, uh, the sh t-shirt that I bought, it was a, t it was a girl's t-shirt, but I really liked the design on, you know, the, the artwork on the front of the shirt, so I bought it. And, uh, it burned up in the house fire last year, but yeah, anyway, uh, I gave them back what money I had left, and what happened afterwards was hell on earth for me. They made me work day in and day out, rain, fucking A, day in, day out, rain, sleet, snow, or hell, hell, even sunshine, and like, I busted my ass off, cutting wood, stacking wood, cleaning up the front yard, everything. They made me work out the entire $100, even though I didn't spend it all. And, I don't know, I think they were trying to teach me a lesson. And that lesson was, I guess, don't fuck with family, or, well, don't disobey the family, I guess. But, you know, I'm a, I was a kid back then. I mean, I technically still am at heart. And, uh... I wanted to do something that I wanted to do for a change, so I bought the t-shirt and the CD. Well, uh... Smells good. Does anyone, does anyone else do that other than me? You know, like spray and then smell, see what it smells like? Yeah, I got this Febreze uh, dragon fruit stuff. It smells pretty good. But, yeah, uh... You know, that's just another family history thing that happened with me and my family. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, I didn't, I haven't really done much. You're just hanging up some stuff, throwing some stuff in the closet, and I've got this big-ass pile of stuff that I throw on the dresser later, which is under the camera, and you guys can't see it, so I don't really want to waste my time doing that. But, you know, I've had... God, I don't even remember an actual good time with the family. I don't remember when the last time was I had a good moment. I don't. I didn't necessarily have good childhood memories, because if I did, I can't remember any of them. But yeah, it's just my life. A little-known story. Now, see, I'm opening up to you guys. But see, the the whole reason I'm doing this is because I don't know what else to talk about. So I guess. I'm just trying to find things to talk about, you know? Sorry, I had a moment. That's the Rasmus. And Black Roses. One of their new CDs? Oh. They're new with CD, I should say. But, uh, yeah, you know, 
because I don't necessarily know what to talk about. I just try to find things and eventually just go with it. And that turns out into a video that I just don't really care to edit, even though I can't with this camera. Oh yeah, this is my trash box for right now. Oh, hey, talking about trash and stuff, look at this. Sorry, uh... Yes, I still kind of have empty cans. I got one dirty dish right there still. But, look at this, look. The clothes are actually in the hamper this time, see? Even though it's just like a pair of pants, two shirts, and a pair of underwear. And, uh, yeah, there's trash there. I need to get that out of my room, but it's just laying there for now. Look, my closet, my tag to my very first car. I haven't returned that yet. I don't know if I should return it or what, but uh, yeah. I may get in trouble for that, but I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to find things to show you in my bedroom. My shoes. Let's look at my shoe collection, shall we? Let's get over here. There's a here's one audio shoe. It's got a hardogram on it. I had these when I was 15. There's the other one to it. There's my Converse's from Rue 21. They're only 20 bucks. There's the other one. And here's a Sneox or Snowshoes, however you fucking pronounce it. That's one of two, which is the other one's right there. Wait, wait, wait for it. Right there. Well, there's my belt. It, it's kind of broken. It ripped on me. But that's three, yeah, three pairs, and the fourth pair is I'm wearing now. They're also Sneoxers, and that's however they're pronounced. I don't really know how to pronounce them. I'm gonna check the time on this video because I just kind of forgot about it. Oh, holy shit. It says 47 minutes and 5 seconds. Do you think that's how long this video has been going? I have no idea. It's just a random, boring ass video. Uh, hmm. I don't know guys, this video has gone on way too long. Um, I apologize for not really doing much or talking about much. Other than just walking back and forth pacing and bitching about my life. Holy shit. I just thought of something. My original videos is me about, er, are just me sitting in front of a webcam bitching about my life. And, you know, they weren't really necessarily that long. And, you know, my videos kind of went away trying to make videos to, you know, give to you guys for, you know, sticking with me and all that. Oh, talking about that. I Let's, let's check my account on YouTube, shall we? Uh, let me see. Black Rose on the Grave. Count. Come on, load. Lucky. Subscribe. Ah, oh, you can't see it. I don't know how to zoom in this thing. Oh, wait. Subscribers. 1,112. See, I'm kind of happy about that. Sorry about the zoom. That, that was like major massive zoom fell. But yeah, I've got 1,112 subscribers. And see, normally for me, back when I first started YouTube and started getting a lot of subscribers, you know, more than 20, 25, 30, uh, you know, when it got up into the hundreds, it took anywhere from... Eh, 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 straw is not working. But, uh, n normally it would take me about maybe a month or two to get five subscribers hell there for the longest time it took at least half a year to get 12 subscribers and one of my one of my latest videos my newest ones I should say um, I was talking about my subscribers and all that on YouTube and I had what was it a hundred and what no 1101 well there for a few days it, it played back and forth from 1,101 to 1,099 then 1,098 then it goes back to 99 then it was 1,100 1,101 
And I checked back, like, today, it was, and I had 100, well, 1,112. So that's, I want to say 11 subscribers overnight, which I don't, I don't necessarily think that's right. Like I said, me and math don't work. But I mean, the past week since I've been making videos, I've, okay, yeah, the whole past week, uh, I've had at least 12 subscribers, if not more, you know? And uh, that that's just amazing for me because, like I said, it takes forever just for me to get five. But now, you know, hopefully making videos, it'll get it'll get better and things will start to work out. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to let me check the time on this one more time, please. And thank you. All right, so it's been 50 minutes and 42 seconds. I'm gonna try to keep this going for a little while longer, and then I'm just gonna cut it off and go to bed. It's already 12, 16 a.m. and I know this video is a little late. You know, I'm a day late. Well, yeah, I'm a day late. Necessarily. Or, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just go with the day late. Maybe a couple hours later than what I wanted it to be, but you know, it's a long video, so I tried, right? But, you know, now you see what I normally do. Like, I'm bored and I just have random thoughts come out of, out of nowhere just talking about you know anything just nonsense pretty much you know and look see there's the pile that I was talking about right there and that's a dirty dish I forgot to show you that one and there's my bed oh my god I forgot to show you that something this this right here it's like a lacy material I don't know what it would be considered but it's a small pillow and I got I got that pillow last year, and I love that fucking thing to death. It's nice and comfy, so I just like to snuggle up with it and go to bed, which I should be doing right about now, but I kind of can't make in this video, then I gotta upload it and you know, do whatever I gotta do, but I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm sorry it's this long. I'm trying to see through the mirror. 50 to 15. Awesome. Almost 53 minutes, guys. I'm surprised I went this long making... This is probably... Yeah, this is my longest video on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Sorry for having you guys just sit through this boring-ass video. It's nonsense, really. And in the title, right up there, it says, Nonsense Video. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to be home alone because my grandparents got to go somewhere like I was saying earlier. I think I said it earlier in this video that they got to leave. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be home alone during the day. So I'll try to make another video tomorrow morning. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Sorry it's so long. Comment. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe. Oh, one more thing before I go. If you look up above this video like right under the title it'll say it'll have like a little banner it'll have a heartogram then it'll say subscribe and the little arrow pointing towards the video thing and it says like subscribe or edit subscription or whatever it says on your guys page um I made that with paint and basically all I did is I took a heartogram picture it was white with a black heartogram and I inverted the color so the background was white or black and the heartogram was white and then I found an arrow I had to invert the colors on it too because it was a white background black arrow and I inverted the colors and it was black the background was so I put those two together I stretched it out just a little bit and I typed in the word subscribe and I made my own banner you know it's nothing fancy it's not professional or anything but uh you know I needed a banner so I made one just like if you look on my home page um, above it it's got three heartograms and it says comment rate subscribe I'm not sure if it's in that order but I kind of uh, did a little I don't remember what it I did that maybe year before last I think it was I kind of just messed around with the picture and did all that to it and used that as my homepage banner and then if you scroll down a little bit I'll have another heartogram on the left side column and it says Twitter all over it 
Uh, I made that myself too. See, like, what I need, I need some homepage banners and, you know, a video banner and things like that. But, uh, see, I I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use the hardogram because it's kind of like copyrighted. But, uh, for now, I'm going to try to get away with it and use the hardogram because it's my favorite band's logo, you know, him, which is the, the video that's playing, the music video that's on my main channel. Uh, yeah. You know, if any of you know how to make banners and things like that, send me a message and I'll try to describe to you guys what I want or to whoever is watching this and knows how to make banners, you know, send me a message, I'll describe it to you. Oh, and if any of you, like, can play any instruments, like, I need a, an intro and an outro as well, but seeing as how I don't have a webcam or an actual camera that works with Windows Media, uh, bleh, Windows Movie Maker, I can't really use the intro and outro. But also, if you guys feel like making, you know, banners and intro and outro, send me a message, and I'll write you guys back and let you know what I'm looking for, and hopefully we can work something out, you know, and if any of you do do that, I will, uh, give you guys a shout out, or I will, uh, giving you guys a shout out also, including, uh, like, in the bottom bar, I would post your, or like, link your channel, and have my subscribers go check you out, and I'll make sure they do it if, you know, you offer to help out and things like that, and, uh, yeah. Oh, um, just another random thought to talk about. I'll probably forget I talked about this and end up talking about it in a new video, like, later on. But also, right now, what I'm thinking about doing in my mind, once I start making some actual good money, what I want to do is I want to start making my own shirts. And, uh, like, have them online, you know, so you guys can go buy them or at least check them out. But my first idea for my first shirt that I want to do, um, I want to have a white shirt and then have like a black heart on it and a, <clears throat> hold on, give me a second. Eh. There we go. Okay, so I want a white shirt with a black heart, like right around here. And then I want a purple rose stuck through the heart. And like, uh, um, on the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, so let me get in front of a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Like right there under the arm, like right under here, you know, like the sleeve under the armpit and things like that. Oh yeah, under the armpit. Going down all the way from the, like, the armpit down to your waist. I want to put the words, like a rose on the grave, going down, you know, in, in letters. And, uh, under the heart, you know, all that stuff, like across the chest, I wanted to... Either say true love or I love you. I don't know. Just it, I just think it would go good with the the heart and the rose. But uh, I don't know. Like the I love you and the the true love thing. That's still a work in progress in my mind. But I do, I do know that I want the black rose on the grave on the uh, rib cage area, and the the rose in the heart. That's just my first shirt idea. I don't necessarily know how it's gonna play out because I've not you know contacted um a uh, company yet but I plan on doing that you know once I at least get a little bit of cash in my bank account or in a bank account or you know my wallet but uh yeah this video has probably gone on way too long it has now been going for 58 minutes and 56 seconds almost an hour long but uh yeah I'm gonna okay I keep saying I'm going to get off and I'm going to do that. And I, I know I've repeated myself several fucking times in this video. Oh, that reminds me one more fucking thing. Um, in my uh, in my videos that I've not edited before, I get a lot of comments saying that I am a stoner. You know, like I smoke pot a lot. Well, um, see, here's the thing, guys. Growing up, I always told myself that I would never do drugs or drink or even smoke fucking cigarettes. Well, the very first time I had any kind of thing to smoke, I was 16 years old, it was in February, and it was at a local concert called Feb Fest with all the local bands. 
to celebrate, you know, my friends' band, you know, getting to play and, you know, having new songs and a lot of people showing up, we all had those, uh, little cigars, you know, the ones that look like cigarettes? Well, uh, we had those. That was the first time I ever smoked something in my life. And, uh, you know, I kind of felt like I was being a rebel, you know, I was rebelling against my family and doing something illegal at the time. Well, you know, I only had maybe like two or three that day, and uh, I never touched it again for a whole year. And then uh, a week before I turned 18, I was still 17, you know, my grandma was put in the hospital, and I had like, a, like my nerves were all fucked up from all the family arguing, then almost losing my grandma. I mean, yeah. Okay, that, this goes back to what I said earlier before. I can't, I don't necessarily love my family because they're family, but at the same time, I have to care about my family, even though I don't want to, but I still do. So, uh, yeah, she was in the hospital, and we didn't think she was going to make it, but, uh, so I got my mom to buy me my first pack of cigarettes. A week before I turned 18. And ever since then, I've been smoking cigarettes. But, that year, you know, I was 17 was back in April, like a month after, well, holy shit. A month after I turned 17, so we're going back another year. Uh, it was April, I was uh, staying at a friend's house. I stayed over his house pretty much the entire month. And uh, I had my first alcoholic beverage there too. Uh, hmm. It was Mike's Hard Lemonade, you know, the, yeah, it was the lemonade flavor, Mike's Hard, but yeah. Oh, and also, first time ever having pot. Okay, I take that back about that first cigarette that I, you know, the cigar was the first thing I ever smoked. Um, I was 16, and it was a week before I turned 17, I was staying at a friend's house, and you know, my friend... Uh, one of his friends that lived with him and his friend's girlfriend, you know, they were all smoking pot. Oh, and even, you know, the mom and, yeah, she was smoking pot too. And, you know, they're like, come on, man, take a hit, you know. And, and I was all worried because I didn't want to get in trouble if word got out and all that. And then I finally said, fuck it, you know, I'm going to try it. And that was the first time I smoked weed too. And ever since then, yeah, I smoke cigarettes on a daily basis. Um, I don't drink on a daily basis and I don't smoke pot on a daily basis. I do that rarely when I'm hanging out with friends or, you know, at a party. And I've not done either one of those in a very, very long time. So, to everyone who thinks I'm a stoner, I'm not necessarily a stoner. And I'm not necessarily, necessarily an alcoholic either. I want to get back to where I'm not doing any of that, you know, straight edge. Because I don't want to end up like my family and become dependent on it and I'm already dependent on cigarettes so you know it's gonna be a very long time and things have to work out the way, well I want them to eventually work out the way that I want them to but I'm standing here looking in the mirror and it looks like the battery is going to die on this camera and it's already been 63 minutes and 27 seconds or 28 seconds so this time for real I'm gonna end the video thanks for watching sorry it's so long I just, you know, wanted to make a nonsense kind of video. Uh, I'll post tomorrow morning, maybe. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, something. Well, actually, it'd be tonight, because it's like 12, 29 a.m. But yeah, I'm going to go listen to some more music and smoke a cigarette and upload this. And once it's uploaded, go to bed. Good night. Thanks for watching. And until next time.